All right, so apparently there's this little pop-up truck show, truck meet at an Arby's that is local to me. Arby's, we have the meat. So we're gonna go there, we're gonna pull up. There's a few decent trucks that are gonna be there supposedly. I saw them posted on their story or whatever. So we're gonna go pull up and see what it's all about, see if there's anything that sticks out. I'll probably pick up the camera there here in, you know, probably 15, 20 minutes. So I'll see you guys there. Until then, I'll see you guys. Call me Bucky, lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing. Uh, how about this rapping conscious, but he ignorant? Uh, how he found the hood, but still gon' go legitimate? Uh, how he fuck a bunch of b but they still respect the women. He's a rolling, it's another. He just got the windows tinted. Homie stab me in the back, and that can never be forgiven. In my pride, man. All right, guys, it's the next day. I went to that little pop-up meet. It wasn't anything too crazy. There was a few decent trucks. I just don't know a whole lot of people there. I kind of just went about my business, went and filmed a couple of the trucks. I got pictures of a couple of the trucks, and then I kind of just skirted out of there. So that was probably the first portion of this video. I'm picking it up here, and today we're going to film a little bit of a video on my truck bed audio. If you guys didn't know, I have two Rockville 8-inch tower speakers, marine audio, in the bed of my truck, and a few of you guys out there were really interested in how I got those set up and kind of what I did to achieve that in the truck bed. Today's video is going to be me walking through what I did to get these hooked up in the bed of my truck and I did this all I want to say under $500 so it's going to be a budget build and if you guys want some bed speakers and you guys don't have a lot of cash to spend on stuff like kicker, wet sounds, DS18 or a, there's a bunch of other really high-end uh, wake tower speakers this is an amazing option that you guys can still get some audio thrown out the bed of your truck I'm gonna take you guys through what I did for this and I'm gonna tell you guys everything that you need to be able to do this and then another thing I'll tell you what you can do if you like this uh, setup and you want to spend just a little bit more money to get better output out of these things so stay tuned and let's get right into this budget truck bed audio system okay guys so before i get started and running down what all you need to do this budget truck bed audio um i wanted to mention that i had to give away my old laptop it was a company laptop so i had to get rid of that so i'm waiting on a new laptop my camera is broke so all the utensils that i use to make these videos are broke right now i'm thankful that my brother has the same camera that i do so quick plug to him if you guys like farming or anything like that. Um, he has his own channel, Farmer Marcus, on YouTube, where he does a bunch of peppers and just a bunch of gardening and a bunch of stuff, farming, stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in that, go check out his channel. I'll leave it linked in the description. So thankful that he has this camera because if not, I would be kind of SOL. But I also have to use his computer to edit because I don't have a computer right now. So if these videos are a little shorter and a little, you know, kind of seem like the easy way out, uh, <laughs> I kind of have to. I, I'm working with what I got, but I definitely want to get you guys content up. I'm trying to think of ways to make productive educational videos, which I know will not take a whole lot of resources because I've already done them. Let's get started in this build. So first off, this is how I have them mounted. I'll probably flash maybe some B-roll clips over the top. That way you guys can see them better. They're two Rockville Audio 8-inch Marine Tower speakers. These speakers are pretty solid for the money. If you're on a budget, I 100% recommend them. A lot of people have an extreme hatred for these things, and they say they suck really bad. I, I did a whole bunch of research on them. I read so many reviews on them, and I feel like I got a 50-50 review on, you know, the emotions that they had. Some said, you know, they're great. Some said these things are trash i would never buy them again so to be honest with you i say if you guys want some bad audio you're on a budget i say go for it i've had really no issues with them so they're mounted on a two inch bar uh i got this bar powder coated and gloss black if you guys want to save a little extra money because that bar was like 50 bucks if you want to save a little extra money you can just get a two inch piece of pvc pipe the only issue is if you get a little heat the weight of those start to bow it but they still work fine and they still held up it just doesn't look as aesthetically pleasing or nice i'm going to kind of zoom in here and kind of talk over this uh, right here uh, you can see my blurry finger basically what those are they're actually two inch shower curtain holders like for a shower curtain rod i'll link everything that i used down in the description 
I got these off Amazon. They're pretty cheap and believe it or not, they've worked great. That's the bed audio part of it. And then I'll show you what powers these speakers. What is powering those speakers is this Rockville Audio Amp. Again, nothing too crazy. We're trying to stay on a budget. This is a whole complete package where you get the amp and the speakers. To be honest with you, I don't remember what the wattage is on that amp. Again, I'll link in the description, like I've said, probably four or five times now. How I get the audio to the bed is, let me get in here real quick. I have this base control knob, which controls the amp. If you had a subwoofer, that's how you would turn the subwoofer up and down uh, for more bass. But it actually works as the power for the amp so basically when I want audio to the bed I turn this knob up and when I don't want audio to the bed and I just want it in my cab I just turn it all the way down so it's pretty straightforward pretty simple I know a lot of people they'll run the amp to the switch so if they want power to the amp they'll turn the switch on and then they'll have a knob or some sort of way to control the bed audio I thought about that and when I was installing it, it was another step that I didn't feel like was necessary and it's worked fine. So the only, the only downfall is the amp is on all the time. So whenever the truck's on, the amp's on. So kind of, I guess it is what it is. It, it hasn't affected anything, so it doesn't really bother me, but I know a lot of people don't want constant power to the amp if they're not using it. As you guys saw, I have the factory uh 09 to 14 radio we're gonna move on to how i got this amp hooked up to the factory radio because if you guys didn't know factory radios don't have an rca output so we're on the other side of the truck and if you guys have put a subwoofer in your truck or a subwoofer in your car through the factory radio you would most likely if you did it yourself you most likely had to get a line output converter so basically what that does is from my understanding it takes the highs from your speakers and the lows from your speakers and it converts it to an rca i have absolutely no idea how that works i'm just running through how i got these bed speakers to work in my truck i wouldn't say my wiring's all that great it's kind of a cluster uh, i could probably clean that stuff up again out of sight out of mind doesn't really bother me because i don't really see it all that often but now that i look at it kind of annoying this is the setup on the amp so obviously uh you got the speaker wires you got the power uh the ground the positive power terminals that remote wire to trigger that amp on again before i get too far into this if you guys have absolutely any questions uh hit me up on instagram that's how i hooked up the amp um, and then over here, it's tucked back in here. Can't see it. It's like right here, down in here, you guys can kind of see that blue connector. That's where I mounted that line output converter. So basically how you hook that line output converter up is you take your factory stereo, you have to find the positive negative and you splice into the positive negative on both sides so right and left you can do your back speakers you can do your front speakers um, obviously i went i found in my kick panel i found in here i found the colored wires that went to the door speakers and i tapped in from there so if you guys need help with that um, i'll do my best to try to help you navigate to find which wires are for your back speakers uh, because for me it was kind of a trial and error i did try a set it didn't work and then i was able to find a form where they gave me the colors and it was actually for the newer year f-150s but they just so happened to be the same really nothing's hooked up to the radio it's the line output converter is hooked up to the speaker wires in each door and then the rca cables hook up to the line output converter hook up into the amp and then obviously the battery powers the amp and then that amp gives the signals and the power to the two speakers in the back i hope that was helpful i hope there's enough information in this video to help you guys do this if you want so all in I want to say I think they went down in price I think this kit or this setup went down in price actually for some reason I want to say I spent like almost $500 on it and I think they're half that now so they're like 250 or some I don't know absolutely love them I don't use them as much as I thought I would I guess but it is kind of fun to drive downtown and kind of be obnoxious and blare your music through them it's a super cool mod it does take some time in to install I'm gonna get you guys a sound test on these uh, it's gonna definitely be hindered because of the camera and the microphone but I'll do the best that I can and um, hopefully you guys want to do this to your truck or at least watch this video and 
you know, it can help you if you're in the process of doing this. All right, guys, we're gonna do a sound test on these. Again, this microphone might not do them justice or it might make them sound way louder than what they are. So just keep that in mind. For this sound test, I am going to roll up all the windows and I'm just gonna get you guys a sound test of the exterior and the two bed speakers. That way the cab audio isn't hindering you know any of that so if that makes sense i'm gonna close up all the windows close all the doors and play some audio and i'll kind of keep walking back towards that direction and you guys can decide if this is something you guys would be interested in doing all right i'm starting at my tailgate and i'm going to just slowly kind of backpedal back and you guys can get a good idea of how these sound so these are at max volume um, not max on the amplifier, but max on my dial or my knob to turn them on. So this is the highest that I can possibly play them when they're on. So if I wanted to turn that dial down, obviously the sound, you know, would be less and so on and so forth. It's literally a volume knob, but basically this is the highest that I possibly can turn them when they're on. So keep that in mind. Day in, day out, not suddenly Cause I know that nothing's ever free Can't say I'm not where I'm supposed to be Cause I know that I gave everything Okay, so if you guys remember where I was standing all the way up there and then I pointed to where that big tree was, uh, this is the big tree. So truck's all the way over there. Obviously it's gonna focus on my finger because it's the closest thing. Yeah, I definitely screwed up the tuning on these so badly. It does not sound good at all, but in terms of volume and loudness, they're super loud. Like I'm pretty far away and I can hear it clear as day. And obviously with the microphone, I don't know if that's gonna be the same for you guys, Hopefully it is. If it's not, um, I can hear it clear as day. I could probably keep backing up, uh, but there's a bunch of trees. This is as far as I can go, and I doubt that anybody would go, you know, be that far away. So I definitely need to get the tuning dialed in, but in terms of volume and loudness, I think they're pretty insane. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a quick one, um, but hopefully this is a modification that you guys would do to your truck and hopefully i inspired you to uh try to do that so with that being said i appreciate you guys and i'll see you in the next one